Hello students, welcome to the physics section. The first, actually in your physics section there are two chapters. The first chapter is light, reflection and refraction. In this chapter mainly we will discuss the various types of reflection in plane mirror, spherical mirrors, etc. and refraction, how the light ray get refracted and later on some more phenomena of light. But you have to remember that most of the questions are comes from your NCT book and anxiety related questions okay you must have to throw the concept what is there throw about what it wants and do like that you may follow the reference book for more questions but i am also giving you some more questions for your better improvement but don't get puzzled simply understand clearly what is the chapter what are the concepts and try to do on your own i will explain one by one every question answer from your book but Try to do on your own, then after that you verify your answers from my explanation. It's okay? Let us enter to the chapter, light reflection and refraction. It's okay? Some points you know about the reflection that is incident ray, reflect, reflected ray, normal, etc., etc. We will discuss one by one. Reflection. What is reflection? When light ray travel strikes any surface, may be polished, may be rough, anything else and return back to its own medium, then it is known as reflection of light. It's okay? Reflections are two types, one is regular, second one is irregular or diffused reflection. Regular reflection, this is diffused reflection. A regular reflection means in plane mirror you know that the light strikes means it will form a ray, but at the daytime you will notice that outside light is there, but in your room it will get lighted. These are mainly diffused reflection, okay? In case of diffused reflection, that means in case of regular reflection, when light ray strikes any polished surface, it will return back, okay? I will discuss what is incident ray, what is reflected ray, etc. But in case of irregular reflection, if the surface is irregular like this, it may got in this direction, it may got in this direction, in different direction, it will get reflected. Therefore, this is known as diffuse reflection. It's okay. And you know what is transparent object through which light can pass, what is translucent object through which light partially pass, and what is opaque object through which light cannot pass. In case of opaque object, you will notice that the shadow will form. Okay. Now we will discuss what is reflection. Let's say this is a plane mirror. Light ray fall on it. It will reflect like this. This is the normal. Okay, normal means this angle is 90. This angle is known as angle of incidence. This angle is known as angle of reflection. What is angle of incidence? That means the angle between incident ray and the normal is known as angle of incidence. What is angle of reflection? The angle between normal and the reflected ray is known as angle of reflection. Here two rules are there. In case of reflection there are two rules. First rule, 
incident ray, a reflected ray, and the normal drawn to the reflecting surface all lie on same plane. Okay, follow your NCRT book. The rules are there, or I am telling you, just listen thoroughly. Incident ray, reflected ray, and the normal drawn to the reflecting surface all lie on same plane. Second rule, angle of incidence and angle of reflection both are equal. That means if angle of incidence is 40, then angle of reflection is also 40. From this one question may come, a light ray strikes a mirror by making 40 degree with the mirror. Again I am repeating, a light ray strikes the mirror by making 40 degree with the mirror. What is the angle of reflection? The light ray strikes the mirror by making 40 degree with the mirror. That means this angle is 40 degree. So, angle of incidence is 50. So, angle of reflection is also 50. It is okay. Another term is they have normal incidence. According to the name, normal incidence means if the light ray fall normally, that means perpendicularly. This is your normal. Okay. If light ray come in this direction, it will reflect also in this direction. That means when light ray fall on the mirror perpendicularly or normally, in that case, angle of incidence and angle of reflection both are how much? This is your incident ray, this is your reflected ray and also this is your normal. All are coinciding. Coinciding means angle I is equal to angle r is equal to 0. This is known as normal incidence. In this chapter also we will acquaint with a real image and virtual image. What is real image? Real image means the image formed by actual intersection of light ray. But in case of virtual image, the light rays are not actually intersected. Second point, a real images can capture on a screen but virtual images cannot capture on a screen. It is okay. Real images are always inverted, but virtual, virtual images are always erect. It is okay. Now we will discuss how the image form in a plane mirror. Okay. Let us say this is a plane mirror. This is the base part, let us say. Here one object is present. How the image will form? Let us say draw one light ray like this. This is perpendicularly fall on the mirror. So, it will return back like this. Its virtual part is in this direction. Its virtual part is also in this direction. Another ray take like this. This is incident ray. So, by making same angle, the ray will come back like this. It is okay. So, its virtual part is in this direction. So, where the image will form? Behind the mirror. According to your property, image is erect, you know that. Behind the mirror, this image is visible to you inside the mirror. So, here, what are the nature and property of the image? That is, image is formed behind the mirror. virtual, erect and same size. Image is also equidistance with object. And finally, one important property is there, image is laterally inverted. These are the property of the image formed in a plane mirror. What do you mean by image is formed laterally inverted? Laterally inverted means if you notice that in the mirror, if you sit inside a mirror, if you raise your right hand, it will look as left hand. That means the image is inverted sideways. It is okay. 
left hand looks right hand, right hand looks left hand, like this. You will notice that the ambulance, in front of the ambulance it is written as the mirror image. That means it is visible to the front side driver that ambulance is coming behind it. That means it will give the pass away to it. It's okay? If a person running towards a mirror, you know that in a plane mirror object distance is image distance. Object distance always is equal to image distance. If you are moving towards a mirror or you are running towards a mirror with a speed 5 meter per second, at what speed your image is running? It also running with 5 meter per second. But my question is, if a person running towards a mirror with a speed 5 meter per second, at what speed his image is running towards him? That means 5 and 5 that is 10, 10 meter per second. Another question is there, in a plane mirror, what is the focal length? You know that focal length means actually in a curve, spherical mirror like this. Focal length means the radius of curvature half, but in a plane mirror, it has no center of curvature, nothing else is there. That means it is infinite, okay? The focal length of a plane mirror is always infinite, it's okay? Next, spherical mirror. Mathematics and Science Video Classes for CBSE Student Only Rupees 1200 Order now Nibpama Education at gmail.com